Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of all things royal. Welcome back, my gorgeous, good-looking friends. I knew it. I wasn't going to do a video, but something told me don't shut down the computer yet because I had a gut feeling Meghan Markle was going to stage some kind of PR stunt, whether it be shopping or doing something so mundane and boring while wearing beige. The dream she had clung to so desperately had enfolded her. It's so predictable. Of course she would do something to try and upstage her husband who is playing in this charity polo match in a couple hours. And she did this on purpose. Now, how ridiculous does she look in 70 degree weather walking up and down a parking lot? Like she looks truly psychotic and unhinged. Like who does this? This is not normal, guys. Like something is seriously wrong. She literally is just walking back and forth in a parking lot like she looks so stupid. And on top of it, wearing a wool coat in 70 degree weather like this is not normal, guys. Something is definitely wrong with her. And of course, at the very same time, what Megan wore put up all the pieces to her ensemble worth over $5,000. Like none of this is relatable. And I'm not sure why WME is going through with putting their client out in the public like this because she looks absolutely unhinged like at least dress for the weather this looks stupid like this is psychopathy charles manson staring in your face kind of look it's not attractive it's not influential it just looks creepy and once again like where are the kids honestly. And it was almost predictable because there was an article that was published by GOTV stating, oh, we're going to see Megan soon pop up because, you know, she's back in California spending time with the kids, enjoying the last couple weeks of summer. Well, where are the kids? They're nowhere to be found. So why are they putting out all these stupid articles? I'm going to talk about this now. So I don't have to talk about this tomorrow because we know everybody else is going to be talking about it. And, you know, I feel kind of bad. I mean, not so much for Harry and the attention being taken away, but for this charity that is supposed to be for these kids. Like, I would rather shine a spotlight on that than talk about this psychopath. I mean, this is seriously deranged and crazy. Now, I get it. She's a malignant narcissist, but there's something very dangerous to the way that she looks. It's almost like she's unraveling. And I seriously believe that she needs medical attention. This is not normal. Megan reminds me of this other con artist. Stop it. Get some help. Such a fraud. 